This is my third attempt. Hopefully nobody else will call me again. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> ring. It's like, damn it. I'm trying to make a video here. I know it's a, it's a phone <laughs> for my phone calls, but it's also for making my videos. All right. This is a best sale of the week video. Um, this is my best sale of the week. I sign KJL. Uh, that stands for Kenneth J. Lane. Gold Tone Empire Stone. Is that what it's called? Empire? That's what they call it. Uh, crystal bib necklace. Here's what it looks like in real life. It's really chunky and crystal-y. Yeah, this is going to some person. I don't know. Do um, you remember the history of this? You actually bought it. That's right. And surprised me when it was found out it was worth money at a thrift shop. Uh, well, I'll start off first by saying we ran this to auction for, what, 150 bucks? No, I think... I might have started at 150 bucks and it didn't sell. Did so not. I put it, buy it now, I think for 199 Yep, 199 I, I said, raise the price. Because it originally sold for yeah. 750 bucks. Yeah, so if you if you went and bought this in like Macy's or Bloomingdale's or, or, I don't know, Walmart. <laughs> I don't know where they for sell this. It would have been 700 bucks, $750. The fact uh, that you found it at that. Yeah, I found it at that stupid thrift, thrift store. And everybody it's left it. Nobody town. bought it. I, it's like it makes no sense. Here, I'm going to show some pictures of it so you can see it. Here. That's uh, – I'm, I'm holding the phone with my uh, left hand. I'm right-handed, so it's a little wobbly. Uh, now I can't see any. Okay, hold on. So that's it. There it is nice and close up. Uh, there it is again. Is that the KJL? Well, I probably did an up-close shot of the KJL, so yeah, I'd like to show the front one. and the back. Front and back. So that they could see the... Oh, and there it is. KJL China. That's what it looks like. Right? And I'll show it one more time. Yeah, so anyway, I bought it there. And what did you what did you say? Like, uh, you were telling uh, Daisy about how when I buy stuff. what What's the ratio of good to bad stuff that uh, you're saying? Nine out of ten times, you suck. <laughs> That's what everybody was saying. But the ten and I disagreed. you were fabulous. Yeah, yeah. Because you bought some other stuff at the same time. Yeah, I did. there's that, other stuff. You got that Hattie Carnegie pin. Yep, yep, yep. I bought the Hattie Carnegie. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, you But I also really bought, I got time. the Joan Rivers they and stuff. They must have got sell some yet, old though. ladies, uh, like a state. Yeah, I think so. But it, this stuff isn't even that old. It's like from... No, that's probably from the 80s, yeah. 90s, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Um, so that, that definitely is my best sale of the week. Uh, we didn't have it on that long. Let's see. Uh, February 20... Well, you put it on sale. 2020. Oh, yeah. Well, I put it on sale. I, but look, I only put it on sale for 15% off. Because I've been running a lot of sales uh, because I took a PayPal loan and I'm paying it off. So wait, maybe I didn't do it for 199 No, you did it for 199 Oh. Okay. Wait a minute. No, it says one ninety nine ninety nine. So basically, I sold it for one hundred seventy dollars. That's fifteen percent yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I've been running sales like this. If they would have bought it last week, it would have been one hundred fifty dollars. They would have saved another twenty dollars because I was doing twenty five percent off sales, and I even did a thirty percent off sale. So I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. You know, I it makes. I don't know why people buy when they buy or whatever. But that is definitely my best sale of the week. Wasn't even listed that long since February. We're only in uh, April now, so like three months. Wasn't three? I mean, it's three long months because I've been inside for three months. But you know, you have not been inside for three months. Feels well. I kind of last well, day feels I like worked it. was March thirteenth, so it's like a month and a half. No, I've been inside three months. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna disagree. All right, so you know what? But I also have another interesting set of sales, and this. Oh, let's see. Dang it. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. It started off with this. This little. I got this. I bought this. Vintage. This is like my best second sale, maybe because here, let me show it. This is really small. Oh, damn it. Hold on. There it is. Look at that. It's my finger. Ugh, I need to clean my fingernails. <laughs> my fingernail is, is bigger than this thing. Uh, if anybody knows anything, this is a uh, vintage gold tone with black enamel, Keith Herring, radiant baby jewelry, pendant charm. Keith Herring was a very famous artist. Look, I got 18 of those left. Still, and I sold four. 18. We have more than that. Uh, Keith that Herring was a very famous artist, came from the uh, 80s. He, uh, he's, he did graffiti. His work, he put it on the subway. He would go on the subway at night and um, paint on the, the empty black fields with on chalk and stuff. Yeah. yeah. He painted in parks. Um, very, on very the famous. Courts. There's one around 125th Street in Harlem on the yeah, east side. Yeah, it still exists. That he painted on the handball 
court wall, and they just put a big fence around it. Yep. Well, to protect it because I yeah, mean, because it's art. It you know? is. I mean, it's like crazy that and he people can't use it. I think he they died. just did some restoration on it. He did die young. He died of AIDS. He very did. Young. He did. Uh, I think he died. What, what did we find out? Nineteen ninety, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, nineteen ninety. Didn't even make it to the millennium. I don't think he was uh, probably in his thirties, something like that. Well, I don't know. Exactly I believe he was. He was. He palled around with uh, Andy Warhol and other famous artists. Um, if you don't know anything about him, I, I would love to have a piece of his art, you know? Oh, definitely. Yeah. But I, it's out of my reach right now. I'd have to sell a whole bunch of... If I sold all of these pins... Let's see. Nope. Still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the history of these pins, which is very interesting, was I bought these... I bought basically hundreds of these. Bags and bags. Yeah, I bought hundreds of these about 20 years ago at, of all places, the Meadowlands. I knew who Keith Herring was at the time. We all we almost had an opportunity to meet the gentleman, right? Yeah, bags and bags. Yeah, give me this. Here, here's this bag was filled. And these are the dancing moles. Got dancing moles. Yeah, these bags are filled. Yeah, we we had an opportunity to meet him. Remember, with uh, Joe said, "Hey, I'm gonna go to a Keith Herring party. You wanna come?" We're like, uh, "We nah. didn't go." Yeah, dummies <laughs> that we were, you know. But um, so I bought these like 20 years ago, and I put them on eBay. Uh, with buy it nows, um, and I was selling them. I think I was selling the pin and this and a pendant because they had a, a matching pin to this, right? I was selling them for about like uh, I don't know, forty bucks or something. For you did those. I relisted. And then just I, pendants. this is before when you, when you were done. Yeah. I relisted just pendants. I don't a think handful of pendants. I don't think doing multiple quantity was a thing when I was listening. So I would list one, sell one. List another one, sell one. And then what happened was I sold one, but I forgot to relist another one. And then for years, they just sat in my, um, I don't know, drawer and something like that. That's what I'm saying. We walk around this house and we just find stuff. <laughs> that's, oh, let's put this on. This is worth money. Well, that's what happens when you have like a friggin' hoarder's house. But I'm not a hoarder. I'm. What oh I do is... Oh, my God. I'm looking at like one, two, three, four, like a stack of 16 boxes. You're making me look bad. <laughs> no, I'm not a hoarder. What I am is I'm a buyer. I buy stuff and then as but being... But the whole idea is to sell it. But I'm only one person. Okay. There's no place I can sell this because did we try and sell these at the flea markets? Yes, I did take a How many years? Of them at the flea market. Yeah. And... For years and years. Well, I think if they we had buy done it. more New York City flea But I'm not going to go to New York to sell this, you know. Anthony, I'm just scared. Yeah, you know, I hear you. I hear I'm you, just I hear saying you. it's the type of flea markets we are doing. Right. We're doing flea markets in Bergen and Hudson County of. We're not Jersey doing antique or high end flea markets. The people that come to the flea markets are not like artsy type people. No, they're not. Do you think I could find I mean, some? Maybe if I had gone to Hoboken, or if I had nah, gone we to had them in Hoboken. City, I had these like twenty years. Or if I had gone to Jersey City, you did sell. More you did sell a there. couple here and there. Yeah, I sold a couple. Like here what? And there. Ten bucks, fifteen bucks. I don't know. I don't know I'm thinking of taking some of the pendants and making a charm charm bracelet. Or something. I, yeah, actually, just one pendant at a time, though. Just like. Like Keith Haring charm bracelet, a nice gold tone. That's an idea Marie had, uh, which I think is a very good idea because, you know, <gasps> someone could be like, ooh, that's that. This will be cool, my Keith Haring bracelet. And maybe we'll just go on, on uh, eBay and, and, and just find a place to buy um, them, them charm bracelets wholesale. You know, at a, I don't know. If they make them here in America, I'll buy them in America. If they don't, I don't know, I guess China. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I had these for 20 years and we've sold them sporadically over time. And uh, we just kind of, again, stumbled across them. We put them on, and immediately you sold this one. What? You listed it and sold one immediately, right? Well, somebody saw my old um, pendant. I had that, the pendants on, and somebody... Well, you're running an auction but now, right? we read but we revised it because we raised the price on it. I which did. Is funny. I did. I forgot. So I guess that kind of boosted it back up on the list. It like, must have. Yeah, because and what do we have for thirty bucks or twenty five? We had it for twenty nine ninety nine, and 20, we made them thirty nine. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Screw this crap. Because you looked well, because at them. Because I'm listing the the lapel pins. for yeah, I'm going to show these 50, next. Forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. For fifty bucks. So we raised the pendant to forty bucks, and yeah. the funny thing was, I sold it last night. Yeah, because you. Uh, but who I raised think it. Kind of I raised it. I think auction, so too. You know, because well, you read. You did a search, right? 
And these things sell, some of them sell for... Well, it depends. There's ones that are marked K Herring yeah. 85. Those are the ones when he was still alive. Yeah, and they had a pop-up shop or something in the city where they sold his stuff. Um, people have those listed for $185. But they're not selling. You know, you can list something yeah, for, I know. you know, however much you want doesn't necessarily mean it's going to 50 and up, right? Here's where the estate of Keith Herring, that's what these look for, and this one says Taiwan. Yeah, ours were made because the one, the dancing wolf or the dancing dog, um, um, it, on the back it says estate, the estate of Keith Herring. So well, they were after he passed. Now the story about so they were from the 90s, this other right? sale to the same person, right? was I, I have all these pins and, and I have different ones of some variation, stuff like that, right? So you are running auctions and you're running them at – because they consistently sell at 50, uh, 50 and up, right? So you are you were running two auctions and the guy that bought the other ones is like, hey, is there any way I can buy um, – the, this is called the, the Dancing Wolf, right? And this is the Radiant Baby, right? Is there any way I can buy a Dancing Wolf and Radiant Baby? Like would you end the list? Because I said, hey, listen – um, I have multiples of these, right? So I don't have to end the listing. I, what I'll do is I'll just make a new listing with a buy it now of a hundred dollars, right? And you could just, just, I'll tell you exactly when I list it and you could buy it. And that's pretty much what happened. The guys agreed to it. He said, fine. I went, took some pictures. I made a listing very quickly, um, listed it. I emailed them. They said, okay, listings up. Boom. He bought it just like that. And then I sold this here and I'll show this. And these all came from the same place. You know, and again, I had a lot of these, even more than, than we have now. So in the long run, right, long run, and to be honest, I probably paid, I don't remember if I, I paid between 50 and and $100 for all of these. And it was like, I knew who the guy was. Do I think I would ever find something like this again? I don't know. You know, what do you think? It would be very uh, rare. Very rare. I mean, anytime we find anything that's really good, the, nobody we, knows what it is but us. We never really find it again. Yeah, it's you like, know? it's it's a mirror, it's a once in a life thing like, that nobody like the, can figure out what it is you found from, yeah from that the art that the I, yeah i bought a collection of nude uh photos um i mean there's a lot of things that Maybe we've a lot found of money. over the years that we've made money on and we're surprised that they were yeah. so good and but i've never seen them yeah before. it's like it either at, the way you find stuff now it either has to be bs nobody wants to deal with or just they can't figure out what the hell it is you know like i might be might have been able to get the ones the, the say if I was at a yard sale, maybe I can get this one, right, right, um, the the baby. But I don't think I could get the dog because they just look at the back and say, oh, that's Keith Herring, and then they would look it up and they go, wow, these sell for fifty bucks. I'm not selling these at a yard sale for like a dollar. You know what I mean? And uh, and and that's the way it is now. I mean, so you just have to be willing to work harder and or pay more, which you know you pay if something sells well, you just pay more, no big deal. Or you have to figure out stuff that nobody else knows what to buy. So, so anyway, that's that's a combination of my best sale and and then my secondary best sale. And it's Sunday, so I don't think I'm gonna make any more sales. Now, let me just go through. Oh, uh, here's a here's a decent sale. Uh, I was joking before that I'm gonna be uh, Tony Exotic now, the Dinosaur King, because I'm nice. buying all these. Dinos. Like Joe Exotic. I'm Tony Exotic, the Dinosaur King. I've been buying all these dinosaurs. So that's, and now I'm Tony Exotic. So anyway, uh, I did list some of the dinosaurs. Here's my first sale, $21.99. Uh, this particular lot, I believe I paid 40 bucks. So I'm almost, by selling one dinosaur, I'm going to say I'm almost, I'll say a third of the way home. A third of the way home on that, on that, and I have a lot more of those dinosaurs left. They're going to be good for flea markets or or whatever. And um, the Safari Limited, they seem to sell if you're ever in the field. And then I, I I think I had a couple of sales I just wanted to point out. Oh, this here's another goofy item. Uh, here's a rare, and it, it's actually big. It was like look that big. <laughs> it was pretty big. Uh, I, look, five and three eighths inch tall uh, skier Smurf. It was like a rubber vinyl. Like if you squeezed it, squeezed it, it would it it, it would had like air in it. You could kind of semi crush it or whatever. It wasn't really soft, but you know, uh, I got forty bucks. I had it for fifty bucks. Uh, I believe I found one 
in all the world on Worth Point, and I believe it sold for like thirty-five or forty or five or something like that. So I was like, I ran it to auction, didn't sell, right? So I made it fifty bucks, and then uh, I had a sale, and I put in my twenty percent off because uh, it had a watcher, and I got forty bucks for it. So that's an unusual item. Let me see, and this was this is a Paya one, and it was do be it looks like dubious, but it's Dubois, I guess Heiko. All right, let me just see if there's anything else interesting in my sales. I've been having a decent amount of sales. Uh, not there, not there. Just let me go back. I'll go back one more two page since I'm here and I'm talking about like all my interesting sales. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to talk about the enamel flower pins because they're no big deal. I don't sell for much. Uh, you know what? I'll talk about them for a half second. Enamel flower pins. Now, they sell okay on eBay, especially if they're in really good condition. They don't sell too well at the flea markets. People want to give us a dollar. And Marie had these at the flea market for a very long time. But now since she's home and listing, she's like, she's just going through stuff that she's had for a long time. So then when she goes back out, she'll be able to start fresh, right? Like like uh, all new. So at the flea markets, you struggle to get 3 to $5 for these. Um, online, what do they generally sell for singly? Like uh, if you sold each pin, like 10 bucks. It depends on the pin. It depends on who makes it. It depends on the condition. It's just ballpark, you know. Uh, I don't know. Well, Marie thinks they're better to sell in lots. If you sell them in lots, you get like five bucks a piece at least, right? Well, I think I got six bucks a piece. 37. A yeah, if I, yeah. When I was at the flea market, you know, I was telling people five. Yeah. And I was getting lectures about how they only pay a dollar. I know. I only like, pay a dollar. Expensive. Well, then, you know. I pay a dollar for those. I'm like, well. Okay, that's fine. Unless then. I get it for free, I don't know how I'm supposed to give it no, to you for a dollar. I mean, seriously. It's like, you only pay a dollar. Well, well I guess you're not going to buy it. You yard sales yeah. in a day like I do. And then, yeah. and then you can, maybe you could find them for a dollar. It's just, yeah, I get it. You're cheap. You know, it, it, no big deal. But you don't have to tell me that you're cheap. Uh, what I do is, if I, if I went to the person and I said, hey, how much is this flower pen? And they told me $2, would I buy it? Would you buy it for $2? What? A flower pen like this. Not to sell at the flea market. No, but would you buy it now for $2? Well, now, because now I'll just come online. Yeah, so, you, so you, $2, right? Ladies but, make bouquets out of them. Uh, so, But if they someone told me... Them. Hey, this is like ten dollars. I wouldn't go. I only pay a dollar. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, why are you telling me how cheap you are? So anyway, if you get these flower enamel pins, I mean, they're not a big deal, but they're pretty much like the uh, Lucinda, uh, Lucinda house pins, right? Uh, this is interesting because I bought these at the flea market last summer. Uh, these model kits. And I tried, I tried, and I tried. There's a song where it's like somebody says, I tried, I tried. Um, and these are sealed. And I took them to the flea market. Get that out of the way. And, the, you know, I actually, I think I paid too much for them for anywhere else but eBay. I paid seven fifty a piece. I put them in my showcase at 20 a piece. I would have taken like... 15 a piece on them, but I was offered nine. I was like, no, I paid 750 a piece. Forget it, right? Finally, here we are in the middle of uh, this pandemic. I was like, these take up a lot of room. I'm just going to list them. I list them. They sold for between 25 to about $39.99. Um, they weren't too expensive to ship, like maybe $12 was the most expensive to ship. And I made more money, but normally I would just, I, if I could sell these for 15 bucks, you know, but I, believe me, I tried, I couldn't do it. So, um, I don't know if I'll buy these, uh, unless they're sealed. And if I buy them, I don't think I'll pay more than five bucks anymore. It's just, it's like, who cares? Um, here, I'll just, so you can see stuff. Fontanini, that was a BS sale, BS sale, what's that, BS sale. Spider-Man Bank. I'm going to go back maybe... How long is this video? Ah, 20 minutes. Okay. I'm going to go back a teeny bit more just to see if I got anything exciting here. Well, these are fun, but... All right, uh, here. If you ever see these... There are these tiny little... I bought these... A bag of these. <laughs> this is another one of my yard sale buys, right? I bought a bag of these for $2. Remember the, the Vernon Pottery miniature? Oh yeah. Yeah, I bought a bag of these for twenty for two dollars. How many did I have? Like ten, fifteen, something like that. Ten. No more than that. Okay, so say I had fifteen, right? I know I had twenty, fifteen. 
And they they have interesting ones. They have like little handles. They look like little, little teeny Crocs. Look, I mean, there's a penny next to it. That's how small the thing is, right? I've been selling these for like twenty to thirty bucks. So that was a, that was a good buy. I mean, you look at stuff like that and you go like, that's really interesting. There's a lot of quality there. That's going to sell for a lot. Oh, here's some BS crap that I sold. All right, this is this is probably the BS sale um, of the past. What is that? Couple of weeks. Uh, I took these to the flea market and I was trying to get like $2 at all these Babylon 5 figures um, and nobody was buying them. So I was like, screw it. I'll just stick it on eBay. I, I ripped the cards open and I left it like this so I can ship it for um, first class. And I just, what I say? I said Babylon 5 Ambassador. Where is it? Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's my ratings. I'm a good seller. Babylon 5 Ambassador Lando Muller, blah, blah, blah. Complete. I just sold them complete, like like uh, unplayed with, complete, like that. So they, they sold. And the reason I listed those is because they're big. They take up a lot of space, and it's BS. I was like, let me just get these out of, out of the way. All right, let me just uh, – there's another model kit there, right there. See what I get for that one, Twenty six ninety nine, page full price. You know what? I'm going to go back one more page. I'm addicted to this now. Pantanini, what's that? BS, nothing special. Jewelry. There's another. There's another one of those little mini Crocs. What I get? Tw I got like thirty bucks. Sweet, huh? Oh, this is interesting. Uh, here, here's a uh, vintage sterling silver miraculous medal with blue enamel. Uh, these suckers can sell for money. I got forty-seven bucks for that. This thing again is teeny weeny. Uh, you didn't put a coin next to it this time. How big is this thing? It's really small. Uh, uh, the uh, size of a nickel, maybe. Size of a one yeah, inch across. A nickel and a quarter. One inch across. So that's that's more towards a nickel. Uh, oh, here's some advice on hankies. <laughs> they don't sell. <laughs> I don't know why. What? Had the twenty assorted vintage flower I themed sold hankies. Four sets of those. Yeah, well, what'd you get for them? Well, they're only, you're only 20, get, I sold for twenty seventy four. That's less than a buck a piece. I saw other people getting more money. For some reason, there's certain things I just can't sell. Yeah, yeah, I And uh, I got like maybe a buck a piece for them, and I That's, thought I would get more. Yeah, I, I mean, if you get them, what what you did was you did flower theme, you did color theme, blue, you did other well, themes. Well, because people use them for quilting, and they use them for, yeah. you know, making pillows. And these and are really like nice. That. These are like brand so freaking never... Nobody was, blew their nose in them. If new. somebody was going to make a quilt, they would want certain colors yeah. or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, my advice on those, if you buy a box of them really cheap, it's like, it's almost not even worth the work though, you know? What's this? Yeah, I, I worked, a, I did a lot of Oh, here's another teeny, yeah, I know. Here's another teeny religious medal, but this one had gold on it. We've got a lot of money for some of these before. This one we got fifty six twenty four. I was 25% off. Here, let me see. 25% off and uh, down from $74.99. So oh, those much, were old. Yeah, no, these are definitely old. These are like, what, early 1900s? Yeah. So they're very like interesting the 20, you ever 30s. see those. But this one actually, it was it marked gold or did it test as gold? It tested as gold. Okay, very interesting. All right, uh, uh, here's a lot of PlayStation games. What I sell those for? 25 bucks. Uh, can I go down one more? Let me see. All right, hold on one second. Should I do one more? Yeah, why not? I'll do five. How long is the video? 23 minutes? All right, I'll do one more. I haven't been doing these best. They take too long. I don't have time, and then I have to edit them. So I might just do them this way every once in a while. Here's another Babylon 5 figure. Look, twelve ninety nine. Uh, I was fortunate, and one guy bought two together, so I shipped them. Uh, uh, they Actually, I was able to ship them a bubble wrapped in bubble wrap and a bubble envelope wrapped in bubble and it was like less than five bucks or and whatever. And I, I, you know, I actually made some money on those suckers. And I swear to God, I am not lying. And I'm at the flea market for about three months. Uh, no interest. Nobody looked at them. Oh, some guy actually, he said something to me. He quoted one when he said, um, as I'm just going to say, I'm going to make it up. He said, as Ambassador Carr, and I don't know if it's actually Ambassador, would say, when the avalanche starts, the pebble has no choice. And I was like, wow, that's pretty profound. That's something like maybe Spock would say. And uh, if you don't get it, that means like um, if in, in the middle of an avalanche, the pebbles get going with everybody else. It can't say, wait a minute, I'm not part of this avalanche. Okay, anyway. 
Here's some more of those mini Crocs. What's this? A uh, list tech that sells pretty well if you can find it. Oh, here's that as is old Chinese floral uh, cloisonne footed thing that I sold for 20 bucks. Uh, it was funny as hell because it had all kinds of damage. And I said, ah, I'll list it anyway, right? And then I listed it for 15 bucks and then it didn't sell. But then someone's, I listed it, I put it back for $25 and the person was like, Hey, would you take 20? I'm like, okay. And then she caught me. She was like, wait a minute. You had to set auction for 15? I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Uh, this snake is, that snake snake is pretty cool. All right, let's see. You know what? One more. And then that's it. I swear to God. That's it. And, and if I had a Bible, I'd put my hand on the Bible. One more. Let's see. There's, there's got to be something interesting here. Uh, no, that's Baby Godzilla. Boring. Another one of those. See, another one of those Crocs. What I get for this one? 1874. All right, so I guess I've sold them a little less. Uh, pretty good perfume, vintage uh, Mansour, Mansour, Lanvin. Lanvin's a good name. It doesn't always sell for a lot of money, uh, to be honest. But these two sold for like uh, here. They sold for seven, uh, 80 bucks and 60 bucks, I believe, to the same person. Uh, uh, oh, this sold right away. A little Fenton. Uh, these are called, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Bert, they're not birth, the birth stone bears. That's what they call them. But some people call them birthday bears by accident. So I did that. I listed that. It sold that night. All right. You know what? Sorry, God. <laughs> I could do one more. But that's it. For, let's see how long this is. 26 minutes. Okay. Uh, sold some lotion. People are uh, indoors getting uh, pretty dry. The skin's getting ashy. I don't know if you know what that means. Like flaky. Uh, wow. I had this pen listed. For like, I never knew what it was. I had this pin listed for twenty thirteen. That's another one of those those almost decade sales. That's like if the next if I don't if I list something and it takes this long to sell, I literally you know could be in a nursing home. <laughs> All right, what's this? Uh, perfume, perfume. Okay, that's it. I, I think I did enough for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned a few things. Uh, so some interesting stuff in this video. I hope I was entertaining. Everybody, I'm out of here. Thanks. Bye.